Greetings, brothers and sisters from all nations, tongues, tribes, and creeds. Uh, thank you for being with me again. Thank you for joining me on this wonderful day, you know. And I say, I, today I want to talk to to you about leadership, all right? I want to, this is for all the leaders. If you're in a leadership position, this is for you, okay? I want to talk about what true leaders are and what true leaders do, all right? True leaders impose discipline on themselves, okay? True leaders don't wait for people to discipline them. They discipline themselves because they know as leaders, they need to be the forerunners in their lives. They can't wait for someone to, to hold their hands and tell them what to do. They go out and find out what to do, you know? They take the initiative on things. If you're a teacher, if you are a parent, all right? If you are a coach, if you are a mentor, if you are a supervisor, then you are in a leadership position. And it's imperative for you to know to develop how to develop yourself. Because one of the main jobs of a leader is not only to develop themselves, but it's to develop the ones that are under them. So it's to develop those that follow you. All right. If you're a parent, it's your you're entitled to develop your child. You're not supposed to leave it up to someone else to develop them. You need to do that. Right. And so you need to develop a framework for yourself in order so you can teach a child a framework for self-development, if that makes sense. All right. As a leader, as a supervisor, you need to develop a framework for yourself so you can take and give the framework to your fellow employees. OK, to the people who are looking to you for answers, the people who are under you, they're looking for you to, to make them better. They're looking for opportunities to grow so if you don't provide those opportunities you know you're gonna lose assets you're gonna lose people who really matter who, who can really change things right and that's what being a change agent is it's helping people grow it's, help, it's helping to define new things all right you know we can't stay stuck in our own old mindsets we need to learn to adapt and overcome right every day is a new day Time doesn't stop. Time keeps moving. Water doesn't stop flowing. It flows, right? It's supposed to flow just like what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to keep growing as people, as individuals. We're not supposed to stop at a certain time, certain age. The day you stop growing is the day you die, okay? Is the day you don't have any more air to breathe. Is the day when, you know, your tag click uh, checks in you're deceased that's when you should be stopping to grow that's when you stop growing that's when your growth stops it ceases as long as you are breathing my friend my brother my sister as long as you have air in your lungs right as long as your eyes can see the beauty that God has created it is up to you to continue your growth and development all right you can't depend on anyone for that you need to depend on yourself to grow and to develop as a leader, you have to be self-disciplined because there's going to be so much out there that's going to take you out of, you know, your, your state of mind, your, your state of, you know, your state of center, you know, there's going to be so much out there that's going to try to, you know, take you away from what you need to be doing, what you need to be focusing on. So you need to know how to refocus on your on these things on, on the stuff that matters the most all right and discipline is key to that all right and self-discipline is is in a, it is in itself knowing how to develop yourself all right if you know how to develop yourself discipline is a part of that you know that all right if you're one of those people out there like me who try to be better every day you know that it takes discipline to do that type of stuff so as a leader you know it's imperative that you have a vision, all right? Because people follow visions, right? People seek people who have a clear path of the, to the future. Uh, like they wanna know that you know what you're doing, right? As a leader, the vision will keep you going, right? It's something to aspire. It, it helps to encourage people. True leaders, develop visions they they know how to encourage the masses all right if you don't have a vision for your future then someone else is going to give you that vision right someone else is going to dictate 
what your future looks like instead of yourself, right? If you don't have a clear vision, if you're a leader and you're in a business, if you don't have a clear vision, a clear voice for that business, then that brand isn't gonna be as effective as it would be with a vision, with a voice, right? Every good, effective brand has a vision, right? They have uh, long-term goals, they have short-term goals, right? And this is brought out by the leadership. It's up to the leadership to continue on with those visions, to develop those visions and to define them so that they can give to their subordinates, they can give to the people that follow them, right? Because that's what people want. People wanna make sure that a leader has a, a, a you know a path a clear path as a leader you are a guide right to guide people you give them guidance and honestly one day everyone should be in a leadership position you will end up in a leadership position you should end up in a leadership position if you're gonna have children just by default that makes you a leader you know because that child is going to depend on you for everything you are going to have to teach that child everything from the beginning to the day from the day it's born till the day it becomes uh, an adult he or she you know that child is going to depend upon you for everything for food for for its skills for labor for care for everything so it's imperative it's imperative that you be able to take that child and to mold it and shape it him or her <laughs> you know <laughs> But it's not, you know, the child's a person, but it's, it's imperative. You know what I'm talking about, right? But it's imperative that you understand how to develop that child so that child can have a winning fight. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I, for me, I grew up without my father. My, my earthly father, he wasn't there. So I had to, a lot of stuff that I learned, I had to do it the hard way and go out and really learn it, you know, and go out and ask and seek. You know, I wasn't really told all these things when I was a child. I wish I was. I would have been way better off if I had someone that would develop me when I was at a younger age, you know? All this stuff that I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, it was because of my Heavenly Father. It was because of Him that I learned all these things, that I, I sought these things. It was because of the, the knowledge and the wisdom and the understanding that He gave me because I was hungry for it. You know, there was a point in my life when I broke down not knowing what to do. I was in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Living a life that was heading nowhere fast. I was gonna be a statistic. I was either gonna be in jail or dead, you know what I'm saying, before I hit 30s because of the life I was living in my teens, you know? I'm not ashamed to admit, yeah, I used to smoke weed. I used to drink alcohol, you know what I'm saying? When I joined the military, I was saved at the time, but yeah, I picked up cigarettes, you know, I picked up these bad habits, but it was by the grace of God, I was able to put all that stuff down and really seek to develop myself every day. And this is what it's about, you know what I'm saying? Being better. Trust me when I say, man, all right? There's no greater feeling than knowing that you've accomplished something you know, with your hands. You know what I'm saying? God gave us hands to use. He gave us the tools to, to create, to make stuff, to produce something, right? Imagine producing something and then being able to sell it to millions, right? And then getting people to say thank you, right? They love what you made. You Something that you made made a difference in their life. Think of that. Think of how good that feels to help someone else, man. That's a beautiful thing. Trust me, man. Trust me when I say that it can be addicting. All right. Helping people can be addictive. Doing good can be addictive. All right. Better than drugs. Okay. Because then you, you feel like you're actually making a difference. You're not just living for yourself. Now you're living for others. And that's what the, that's what it's all about. That's what the golden rule is. Right. Do unto others as you as have others to do unto you, to you, right? Love thy neighbor as you love yourself, right? That's what that's what the good book tells us to do, right? Let's live that, right? Let's not just don't just talk about it, be about it, right? I, I encourage you to go out and help somebody, man. And the best way to do that is to teach them something, right? Teach them. Teaching someone how to fish is better than giving them the fish. Why? Because then they know how to fish for themselves. 
So now they don't have to be self-reliant on you. They don't have to be self-reliant on the government to give them money, to give them food checks, food stamps. They can go out and get their own food. They can cook their own meals. They can go make their own money because they have the skills to do that. They are empowered. They are leveling up. That's the beauty of it, man. That's why I preach the philosophy of leveling up. The art of leveling up is something that everyone should know. Everyone from rich to poor, right? From old to young, okay? From if you're a student to a non-student, if you're a business partner to a non-business partner, if you are entrepreneur to a non-entrepreneur, you need to learn how to develop yourself, okay? And more so if you are an entrepreneur. So that's why, again, once again, I'm gonna encourage you to get my book, all right? The Art of Leveling Up, okay? I encourage you to get the class. Go download the class or go on Skillshare and the class is live stream. Go check out the class, all right? You will gain a lot out of it. You will gain a new perspective, all right? It's gonna help you to be better, all right? It's gonna help you to learn how to develop yourself. It's gonna give you the framework to developing yourself. It's gonna help you, it's gonna teach you how to learn, develop, and maintain your skills. It's gonna teach you about these things. It's gonna teach you the importance of mentoring, all right? It's the importance of finding a mentor, all right? And it has lots of extra goodies in there, all right? I can't stress it enough. And not just because I made it, but because I believe in it, all right? I made it because I believed in it. I produced it. It's something that I, I made through my heart, with my mind, and with my hands. Something that I created to give to you because I wanted to share something that someone else shared with me. The concepts that I learned, I paid for. And those concepts, I appreciate my Sifu every day for teaching me, for really teaching me how to defend myself, really teach me how to develop myself. That's what I learned, man. That's what I, and no one can ever take that away from me. And so that's why I decided to write the book. That's why I decided to give back to like, you know what? I need to teach this to someone else. What's the best way to do that? Hmm, let me think. Bingo. Let's write a book, all right? Let's do an online class. Before I could even know what a, how to do an online class. I'm like, all right, well, I wanna do an online class. What do I need to do? I need to learn some new skills. So that's what I did. So like I said, man, you know, if you're a leader, if you are in a leadership position, learn how to develop yourself, all right? So you can develop others, all right? They will thank you for it in the long run. They will appreciate you more if you can do that for them. Okay, because that's one of your jobs as a leader, all right, to develop people, all right? Check out the art of leveling up. Get that framework first and then go ahead and learn some other skills, man. Use that framework to learn other skills. Learn efficiently, all right? So, all right, again, my brothers and sisters across the nation, across the world, all tribes and tongues and creeds, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Please share. Please like. Thank you, all right? I can't express enough how much this means to me. Thank you. God bless. I hope you have a wonderful day, man. Stay safe out there, man. This COVID is killing people. Stay safe, all right? You know what I'm saying? And be safe. Now, I know there's a lot happening with uh, George Floyd, uh, you know, the death of George Floyd and, you know, protests. And that's, you know, it hurts. But just be safe, man, all right? And uh, <laughs> all right, let me close it with what Martin Luther King said. So all those people who think protesting is about burning stuff up, all right? Martin Luther King, one of his speeches said, she said, don't burn, baby, burn. It's not burn, baby, burn. It's earn, baby, earn. It's learn, baby, learn to earn, baby, earn so that we can build, baby, build, okay? If you want to start a revolution, learn how to build, not destroy, okay? True revolution comes from creating, all right? Chaos and anarchy comes from destruction, destroying, all right? So stop burning, baby, burning, and start learning, baby, learning, all right? I'll talk to you later. This is Hans once again. Peace and love, my peoples, my, 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 my brothers and sisters, all right? From across the world, all nations, all tongues, all tribes, all right? Talk to you later. Bye.